Hey guys, it's James here, Appalachian DIY. I've got this uh, pretty cool uh, gear wrench, flex head torque wrench. I've been eyeballing this for some time um, on online because I wanted a new flex head torque wrench. And uh, I've been looking at this one. I actually got this for Father's Day, an early Father's Day present. And uh, so I haven't had a real chance to use it a lot yet. So it's going to be more of a... Uh, a uh, kind of a product highlight versus a review but I wanted to do that because looking online I've been looking at this thing for a long time but there's really no information on it about uh really there's not a, just there's not a whole lot of information on it so I just kind of want to do this for you guys who are looking at it um, for those of you that don't know this is the same uh, torque wrench that Matco is selling on their trucks now um, their their newest one this is if you're looking at the old one on the matco truck it's uh it's not this one this is the newer one you can tell the difference by uh looking at the uh the handle so if you have a matco dealer which i know not all of us do but um if you do have a matco dealer you can ask to look at their torque wrench you know these are made by apex of course everything on there's apex but uh uh, just look at the handle. It's the knurled kind of funky cool handle like that uh, So this is the newer one that you'll see on the Matco truck or that you can get online for uh, a lot cheaper on Amazon or eBay or whatever you can pick this one up for about a hundred and fifty or so depending on where you get it um, But anyway, let's just look at the wrench real quick um, So this is five to seventy five foot pounds. That's the torque range um, we've got the uh, the uh, scale here in foot pounds and then on the other side in Newton meters so you know your basic scale is going to be foot pounds it does go all the way to 5 or all the way down to 5 all the way up to 75 alright getting a closer look here at the wrench um, this is the 85086 flex head now online it doesn't really say anything about the style of flex head or really a whole lot of anything um, but this is a locking flex head so looking at it here uh, you can see that it only has three positions of flex so there's the you know the one there's the uh, normal and then there's your other so uh, if I would have known this before buying it even though it was a present, I probably would have t taken it off my Amazon wish list. But uh, because I don't like, I don't really like that locking flex head. Um, that's a preference thing. But you know, when you're looking at torque wrenches, if you want a smooth flex head, like say a Snap-on, it's going to be about three or four times more expensive than this. So I'm fine with this just for the price, because uh, I already have uh, a different torque wrench that I use that's Snap-on, but I needed something in this torque range with this length and uh, with the flex head and for this price I, I'm, I'm satisfied with it so looking at the scale here you can uh, you can see the markings are just as clear as as any other micrometer style torque wrench um, they, they are engraved it's not just you know printed on there so it should be fine you know eventually over time after use these things do get kind of scratched up and it's not quite as easy to to read but this is fine you know this is basic compared to any other company that makes a micrometer torque wrench we have the locking kind of little locking mechanism here which is cool on the older gear wrench and uh, matco or at least the gear wrench they uh they had like a, a side to side lock so right now you can't can't turn the wrench it had a side to side lock which would always you'd always hit it whenever you were using the wrench and then it would either lock or unlock when you didn't want to this one's this one's different like that you really probably can't accidentally unlock or lock it so all the time in rest this thing is locked you got to actually hold this thing down to unlock it then you can turn your wrench so I don't find that to be annoying at all some people might but I think it's just fine. It's just one of those things that you that you get used to. It's it's not really unnatural for your hand to do this as you're turning it. You know, it's just like say using a screwdriver. You know, you have a certain motion, boom, 
do it every time you twist the handle. It's not a big deal. So, and then the way it locks, like naturally, like say if I were to just hold it down and then slightly turn it, see right now it's still unlocked, but as soon as it hits the next foot pound increment, it'll lock. See that? So that's pretty cool. Um, and so yeah, it does lock at, e at each foot pound. So right there, there's 20 foot pounds. You can just slightly turn it. 21, 20 and a half foot pounds. 21, 21 and a half. So yeah, it actually locks at every half a foot pound. So that's actually cool. I didn't even notice that at first. As far as the length on this wrench, it is about 18 inches long, which is a uh, which is nice and long. It's it's actually the length that I wanted. A lot of these torque wrenches are more along the lines of uh, 12 or 13 inches on the 3 8 model. And uh, so that's one of the reasons why I really like this wrench. I also really like this handle. Um, this thing is made in China. So if you, you know, if, you, if you're kind of worried about that, whatever. I mean, it's everything that Apex makes and <clears throat> gear wrench is all made in China. Or Taiwan or or Indonesia or you know Burgundy Specoach or somewhere else other than here um, so there's different wrenches you can buy like this <clears throat> if you're looking for an American made wrench uh, precision instruments uh, makes a similar wrench uh, to this one it does have a smooth flex head not this locking kind of thing but you know it's made in the USA and you can actually, I think you can buy those on Matco as well, uh, or at least on some of the trucks uh, you can buy, or you can buy it on online. Amazon has them for about the same price as this one. Um, I'm not crazy about on this, on the Precision one, is it actually is a good bit shorter than this one. So, so that, like I said, that's why I like this one. I like the length. I like this locking mechanism here. I like the handle. I like the flex head. I just wish that the flex head was not a locking flex head but let's talk about the flex head real quick um, the degree here versus other flex head torque wrenches is a, you have a lot more degree of flex now this is probably going to reduce the accuracy I would imagine um, but I do have the uh, the uh, calibration checklist and it's you know within the range that it should be and I'll, I'll put that up here in a minute um, uh, but you know on the other torque wrenches that you see the degree of flex is more along the lines of like seven degrees whereas this one is probably double that I would say um, they say it's up to 30 degree flex that's what it says uh, which I assume is you know 15 degrees in either direction I don't know I have to get out my angle meter uh, I guess but but either way just looking at it you can see that versus like say a a more expensive snap-on flex head this one does flex a good bit more so like I said you could worry about the the degree of accuracy um, but I would say you know just use it in the normal position as much as possible I mean the flex is there when you need it but since it's a locking flex it's not gonna flex on its own you know you're gonna have to give it a little a little a little nudge to get it to uh, to get it to lock as far as quality goes for uh, for Apex Tool Group and Chinese stuff, um, this is exactly how it came. Snap rings off. You know that's kind of annoying. I don't understand why the snap rings way over here when it could should be right there. I guess you know it's just one of those uh, QC issues. Not that this is a big deal. I mean you could just move the snap ring, but I just think it's annoying to find a tool to get a brand new tool and you know things like that are overlooked. You know, but whatever. You know, and in this little, this little doodad here that holds it together, you know, you can kind of move it back and forth. I don't know. You know, it's a $150 torque wrench, so I'm not going to complain about it, really. I'm just pointing these things out to you if you're going to expect, you know, a gold-plated torque wrench when you buy this thing. It's not the case, but it is, from what I can tell. And, you know, I own another gear wrench torque wrench that I've had, and I did a review on it a year ago or so, and I've had it for like three years now. And I haven't had any problems with it. I'm going to assume that this one's going to be along the lines of that. And uh, the cool thing about it is, is that uh, since it is Apex, uh, when you do need it calibrated, if you have a Matco dealer, he should be able to do that for you. 
I assume you'll have to pay for shipping or, or whatever, but you're going to have to do that anyway. You know, it's just nice to have somebody to do that kind of thing for you. Um, as long as you have a good relationship with them, you should be able to do that, I would think. And if you need parts for it or whatever else, you know, it's the same as the Matco. So, uh, this is the 85086. I'll try and put in the description the Matco part number. Uh, if you want to get one on Matco, it's about 300 bucks. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, hopefully, if you're thinking about buying this wrench, this kind of gives you a better idea than what you're going to see online with the very tiny pictures that they have right now and essentially no information uh, on the wrench. So that's about it. Quick product look here at the uh, gear wrench, 5 to 75 foot pound, um, 3 8 flex head torque wrench.